Hi, it's Dave from London. I'm back with another COVID-19 update from the UK. Um, so several weeks ago, uh, I did a video explaining the three-tier system that the government had implemented, which was for the lowest amount of coronavirus cases in your area, you were middle tier. For a higher number, you were high, and then very high, obviously, for the most. Now, uh, since then, that ran for about a month, uh, or so just over and then now we've just gone into full lockdown uh, I mean I say just gone into full lockdown it started on the 5th of November and it will end on the 2nd of December so we've been in it for a, for a few weeks now um, it's not the same as before the last lockdown we had was really a full lockdown schools universities they they weren't able to go in um, non-essential shops are closed that's the same as before um, but um, cafes um, restaurants people that could uh, offer a takeaway service so uh, costa starbucks mcdonald's uh, this time they're allowed to offer a takeaway service or drive through uh, last time they weren't allowed to certainly in the beginning anyway um, so that's slightly different um, so only essential shops such as um, supermarkets, food stores, pet shops, uh, pharmacies are open. However, um, in some areas, um, I think some shops, businesses are either finding loopholes uh, where they can in order to stay open um, or they're just flouting the walls basically. Uh, it depends where you go. So you go to some areas and it just looks no different. It's like, well, where's the lockdown? Um, everything's open. And then you go to another area uh, and people are, uh, are, you know, going by the rules and everything is closed apart from those essential shops. Um, like I say, there are a few odd ones um, that somehow they manage to get around, get around the rules or they're just ignoring it until someone tells them to close. But yeah it's just so different area to area here um in terms of in terms of the lockdown basically uh i think companies have decided they're just losing too much money and if they can stay open they're going to um so um basically we just had a a new announcement from the prime minister last night uh, as to what happens when this lockdown does in fact end like I said it's due to end on the 2nd of December um, so a week uh, about a week from now a week or just over a week um, so basically when the lockdown ends that we will be returning to the three-tier system with a few different rules um, which um, haven't really been um, announced yet um, but, but what it said is that, um, again, depending on what tier you're in, um, because remember last time I explained that if you're in a high, if you're in the highest tier, uh, things like gyms, um, cinemas, um, bars, things like that, they're not allowed to be open. Um, but filtering down, those, those are allowed to be open in the lockdown. Obviously, none of that's allowed to be open. Um, so it goes back to the free tier system. But we have been told that, that gyms and obviously non-essential shops, so um, clothes shops, uh, things like that, uh, are allowed to reopen. Um, previously, when pubs were allowed to open, if you were in an area that they were allowed to be open, uh, the pubs used to close at 10 o'clock. Um, they had to shut 10 uh, bars, restaurants, pubs. Um, and as I mentioned before, this was causing a bit of a problem in, in certain parts of central London where um, there's a vast majority of pubs, bars, restaurants in, in certain areas and they, they were throwing everyone out at 10 o'clock and now there's like a massive crowd on the street all trying to get home by public transport. It's just causing crowding where that's not really the object of the lockdown or, or of the restriction. Um, so now they're saying that early closing for pubs, pubs, restaurants will will be eased. Uh, we haven't really heard uh, so far what what exactly that means, but I think it will probably be dependent on are you in middle tier, high tier, uh, so on. So um, 
the the everything shutting at ten and and everyone piling out onto the street at ten o'clock um, will hopefully be avoided. Um, there's uh, no announcement yet um, as to what's going to happen at Christmas. We're still waiting for an announcement uh, in terms of um, obviously shops and businesses, but also on families. Um, can families get together? Um, because the pre previous system was uh, about mixing households and only two households, and now they're talking in they're talking in the press that it could be between four and six, or the numbers are four or six households can mix. This is just what's being reported in the press. It's not been confirmed, um, but they also said the payoff would be there'd be another lockdown in January. Um, what the Prime Minister said was that UK deserves some kind of Christmas. So we're, we're waiting for an update on what exactly he means by that and whether there is any truth in the rumours in the press about there being up to four or maybe even as many as six households being able to mix um, over the Christmas period and perhaps into New Year. Um, also, we haven't heard anything um, from the government or prime minister in terms of a of a potential January lockdown, um, I don't think they're going to announce something like that unless the numbers shoot up. So if the numbers, uh, the number of cases shoots up again uh, after Christmas and certainly at the beginning of January, they're probably going to have another lockdown in January. Um, again, we, it's a wait and see on that one. So. Um, another point of note um, is that um, sports stadiums were allowed to re be allowed to reopen. Um, they haven't. Um, they haven't as yet. Um, we haven't had fans in football stadiums here since February, I think it is. Um, now they're saying that uh, again, depending on which area or you are in, in terms or well, which area the stadium is in, in terms of the the tier system. Uh, you may be able to have fans, but the maximum amount, regardless of which tier you're in, the maximum amount at the moment will be 4,000, so not many, uh, but it's a start. Um, uh, one other little side note is that during the lockdown here, um, lots of people have been putting up Christmas decorations, so when you when you drive the streets, um, when it gets gets dark, you can see lots of Christmas lights, which is probably a little bit you're seeing a lot more than you would this time uh, normally but I think people are just trying to brighten the place up and um, trying to get into the Christmas spirit instead of just uh, we're in another lockdown so that that's one one little happy note perhaps but um, we're, we're waiting more announcements uh, in, in terms of several things uh, obviously Christmas being the big one so we'll have to wait and see so I'll probably be back um, at some point with that. So stay safe and see you soon.